All right, so this first video is going to uh, cover the introduction to the course and <coughs> some expectations. So um, I know there's students that haven't taken online courses before, so I'm going to go through how everything is set up <coughs> so you guys aren't freaking out with, uh, you know, the, the course setup and you can worry about more the actual content of the course. Okay, so right here you got my introduction me message. Okay, my name is Mike Seeley, um, or Michael Seeley. <coughs> I got all my emails, phone numbers. Um, I was thinking office hours six to seven on Mondays and Saturdays eight to nine. Um, I make a lot of these movies, so I find a lot of kids don't show up for the. Uh, office hours and the office hours are basically kind of like webex meetings where i can talk you through um programming and get you help if you need it um but i think you guys should be pretty good um if this is your first programming class expect that you know to feel uncomfortable this isn't an easy subject to learn okay so um under this course home <clears throat> page uh, there'll be, I'm going to leave this up all semester. <coughs> so this is the master list of helpful assignments. I've gone out above and beyond what's required of this course to create a bunch of different assignments for you guys, um, that you can either do or not do. Um, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, the idea is that, you know, there's the course material, which will be great on, um, but I'm not sure that's enough to really get a full grasp of what you need to do with programming. And to be honest, I'm kind of a, I'm a big believer in um, quizzes and testing. Um, when I first started teaching, I hated quizzes and testing, but I've come to the conclusion that students don't know what they don't know. And if you don't know something the best way uh, I think you can learn is through practice quizzes and testing now I'm not gonna grade you on any of this stuff but you know for instance um, uh, and I'm gonna show you where all this stuff is located um, this is kinda like your syllabus only do not use this as your syllabus okay let me let me show you real quick uh, where your syllabus is first of all this is again above and beyond what the course uh, is you know you need to do so if you go to content <coughs> you got all these uh, uh, you know links down here they're called modules all right so module one two three four five um, you got the videos and extra worksheets this is where I've thrown in all my extra stuff so I've got a lot of different videos in here and worksheets so if you you know, look at this. Look at all these worksheets uh, and videos. Okay, video, video, worksheet. Um, you know, if you load more, uh, more will pop up. Okay, so again, um, a lot of stuff I've thrown up is just stuff that I've created for um, my high school students in their Java classes, and I've converted it all to, to Python. Um, so, you know, on most of these, if you guys are, are really wanting to understand what different things and uh, in different topics entail I've given you the worksheets and you can go through and practice them so um, this is like the first quiz I give to my high school kids on uh, seeing if they understand strings okay and most of them bomb this quiz like almost all of them miss you know I would say they, they only get like three or four right um, because they have problems and so then what I do is I, I go back and have them take uh, you know the second quiz and then you know if they need to then I can take the, they can take the third quiz but you know I don't think you're gonna learn programming by reading the book and then just voila it works um, it takes a while to kinda read through code and then feel comfortable enough to write the code and so uh, like I said, other than the videos, I've got a lot of just practice worksheets, multiple choice type problems that you guys can work through <coughs> to support your learning in here, okay? So this videos and extra worksheets, that's what um, this is on, the, uh, on my master list of helpful assignments, okay? That's what this section is.
Okay. Again, all of these are above and beyond the course. You do not have to do them, especially if you've already taken a program uh, programming class and you're already pretty comfortable with most of the course material. Um, you know, maybe watch the videos to uh, learn some some Python. Um, I know that I I've spent the last I've I've been teaching Java now for over a decade. But I've only, you know, been been diving into Python for the last month or so. Um, so let's see here. Um, first thing you want to do when you get into the content tab, probably want to go to start here. Um, <coughs> tells you all the different things about, uh, you know, some of the things you need to know. Syllabus page, probably important. You got course materials. Uh, course time commitment, this kind of stuff. The instructor information. There's some more stuff about the uh, there on about me. Uh, course rubrics. Um, this is how I'm going to grade you. So um, you know, it shows you where the rubric is. Um, you guys will be graded based off of uh, assignments and discussion questions. Um, you know, for assignments, I'm looking for you know. Uh, well, let's go into one here in a second. Um, we'll come back to rubrics, okay? So, um, depending on if you're on the uh, a normal 15-week semester or a 10-week semester course, um, you'll you, you'll go into the course schedule. So, this is a summer course um, that's coming up. So, I'll just click on this. But the the 15-week, it's the same kind of thing. So, this video works for you too. Um, I've got the dates of when things are due um, and the actual assignment. So let's look at this. So on um, June 6th, or sorry, June 8th, uh, you're expected to have the discussion question and the assignment one complete. Exploration problems are not graded. They're for you to kind of uh, support your learning. Um, but we could go into module one, discussion one, and see how that, let's look at that, because then I can show you guys the rubrics as well. So module one, and here are the discussions. So once you go into a module, there's there's three different sections. Uh, you got the exploration, okay? Again, exploration's not graded. Uh, you got discussion, and then your exercise are down there. So if you go into, uh, module one discussion you'll see a rubric <clears throat> this is how I'm gonna grade you um, <coughs> and usually you know as long as you find at least two external sources and you cite them well um, you, you cite them properly and you respond to at least two of your classmates I usually just give you full points okay um, let me see here is there anything about minimum word count on and on time? Main post contributes new ideas, replies to the peers to one dis but does not offer a new idea. I'm gonna say respond to two of your of your classmates, okay? Respond to two and you'll be fine, okay? Use two um, citations, you'll be fine, okay? And I'll email you guys this. I email you guys every week with you know with what's due, okay? Um let's see assignments. So you've got your uh like for instance your uh module one assignment one number conversions. If I go in here, um right here, assignment one number conversions, I've told you guys to go look at my number systems conversion practice problems in the worksheet video text page. Okay. Um so let's look at that real quick. So if you go in here, it should be the first, uh, maybe the second one. No, right here, number of conversions, practice problems. So you go in here, and I kind of showed you guys now, this looks funky. You actually want to download it. it. It looks better downloaded. Let's open it up in a Word document. Um, so for instance, this first one is converting binary numbers <laughs> two decimal numbers. So if you have a binary one one zero one zero one zero, um, uh, 
ba basically this one is worth 64. Now the way you do this, uh, everything with binary, so you got 2 to the 0 power is 1, 2 to the 1st power is 2, 2 to the 2nd power is 4. Now I don't have a video on this, um, but uh, binary is kind of like electricity. It's like an on and off switch. So on would represent 1, off would represent, uh, on would represent 1, off would represent 0. So, um, you know, everything's to, you know, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh power or whatever, okay? And so if you have a binary like this, 1 would represent this is on. So 64 uh, plus 32 plus 8 plus 2, and I've got arrows pointing to it. That's uh, 106. And so you should be able to figure out the binary or the decimal of this one. It's just 4, so it's 4. Um there's nothing in the leading uh, leading up to this, so and if they were zeros leading up to it, they, you wouldn't add anything to it. So you just leave those blank. I then got decimal to binary, so it's the exact opposite. So basically, you're trying to figure out, you know, um, if you've got uh, a, a decimal number of 247, what adds up to 247? And so you'll have to kind of figure that out. Uh, 256 is greater than 247, so that's got to be a zero. Um, and then there's got to be at least one, one, 128 in 247, and then you guys could, you know, figure that out. Um, but practice problems, in my mind, are the best way that you're going to learn it. The more you do, the better. Um, uh, if you're really wanting to be a programmer, the, the, the learning curve is fairly steep. Um, you know, I could tell you guys stories about uh, my experience as a programmer, um, but uh, extremely steep. But once you learn it, um, you know, you can switch to different languages fairly easily because um, most of the programming concepts are all the same. OK, so content is where you're going to be mainly in this course. There's different things, assignments. Um, discussions, this kind of stuff. I don't think you're going to, well, I, I would just do it through content, okay? You can do it through here if you want. Um, this is more for me to go in because I'm going to go into this kind of stuff and grade you guys. Um, uh, what else? Uh, we don't have quizzes in this class, so you don't have to do that. Grades, your grades will be posted. I'm... Uh, pretty darn good at getting your grades finished for the week uh, by Sunday. Um, the first uh, week or two of the summer, I'm going to be out of town. So I still plan on getting everything done, but it's like it's our family vacation trip. And so um, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, um, so like I said, I've always had good reviews on how fast I turn grades around. Um, class list. If you want to email anybody, you know, you want to email me, I would use the class list, go to the class list, click on me and do like an internal message and you can email me. Um, also here, here's your email. If you click up here, internal email, um, you could email me. Um, but that's basically a quick run through of how the course is set up. Um, Hopefully after watching this, I've had kids, i have not kids, but I've had students, uh, uh, compl not complain, but um, stress that they did not understand the online, ex like, like how the online experience worked, but it really shouldn't be too hard. Again, think about what you need to do. You need to do, you got to look at your syllabus each week. You got to see what's due. Then the syllabus will tell you which module you need to be in. You click on your module. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you, uh, you've got your e-text. Let's look at this. So module one, um, let's see, does it have a reading section? No, it doesn't, but your syllabus does. It's, you know, it's read, um, probably the first, let's look at it real quick again so I don't screw you guys up. Um, uh, read the preface in chapter one of the way of the... Uh, the way of the program. Okay, so if I go back to my table of contents, um, I click on my e-text. 
Uh, so I would just open this thing up in a HTML version. Um, so there's your preface and like this is the way of the program. So this is your reading. Um, I go through a lot of stuff in my videos um, and there's different exercises. You should do the exercises, okay? The more you guys program, the better you're gonna get at it. And when you first start, it feels like it, you know, it, this isn't something that comes naturally. I tell everybody programming is kind of like the merger of a foreign language with math. And so if you're, if you're really good at math and logic and step-by-step -step processes, um, programming will probably come to you faster, um, you, you know, than if you're, if like math was your worst subject ever. And that's just me being honest. Um, but the more you practice, the more comfortable you're going to feel. And at first, it's, you're going to feel like you're not getting anything done, okay? Um, now, I will have up – I'm supposed to I, – I, I've kind of gotten in trouble. I sent out emails with updates every week on what you needed to complete. I need to use the announcement page, I guess, more often and put announcements up for the week on what's due. So that will, you know, I'll need to do that. But again, look look for the syllabus, look at my master list of helpful assignments, uh, go through and watch the videos, okay? I demonstrate how to do a lot of stuff on these videos. You can sit um, and sit on your Jupyter Notebook. That's one of the videos is, is downloading the Jupyter Notebook and uh, getting that to work properly but watch the videos and shoot me an email if you guys need if you have any questions okay and that should be good